what is going on guys and welcome to HTML in brackets tutorial now in this video I want to talk about a little bit more about images and more specifically a little bit more about attributes that image element would have so let's say that I have over here I have this attribute called source which pretty much tells the where the image is located right however we can use a couple of more attributes for the image element and the first one would be alt and that would work in a case let's say that our browser cannot find our image right so over here I'm gonna create a equal sign and then double quotation marks and I'm gonna write Kevin Hart so let's open up the toggle menu and you can see that the name of my image is funny JPEG right so what if I what if I would over here I would mess around with this JPEG and let's say I would delete this JPEG so you can see right now that the browser can't find it because I deleted the whole extension. However, you can see over here that I still have Kevin Hart, which is I wrote over here in alternative. So you can see that I, over here I'm using this attribute alt in order just in case if there's something wrong with my image or the browser cannot find it. So let's say as I go back to normal JPEG, you can see that I have back Kevin Hart's picture, right? Now let's talk about two more attributes that we can add to our image element. The first one would be width and the second one would be height. And pretty much they're straightforward. If you're typing the width, let's say to be 400, you can see that my picture got way more bigger. If I would write over here the width to be 100, then it would be really small. And 100 stands for 100 pixels. And over here I could write also height and I could say that height would be 400 and you can see how that is changing or I could write over here I don't know 100 so then it would be the same box it would just be smaller this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video